Hello and welcome to the PC Michiana Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and we are on the free software series where I show you free software that's great for all walks of geek or non-geek life. Now that I'm thinking about it, you don't have to be a geek to enjoy this. As always, the soft, as always, this software is available at PCMichiana.com in the download section. Just select the download link. The link will be in the sidebar. Today we're going to talk about Google Chrome. I know it's a browser and some of you say, well, of course it's free. Browsers are always free. Well, yes, that's true, but this is the free software series and, and browsers are included in that category. Now, of course, you just select it and download it and install it like you normally do. And we're going to be doing the beta version for this video because I think the beta version is quite a bit better and there's very few issues that you're actually going to run into. Now, after you've installed it, you're going to be greeted with this weird circle with the eyeball and multicolored. It's kind of cool looking. Actually, if you know what this circle means or why they chose it, would you go ahead and post it in the comments? Because I'm actually curious why they did that. But after you've opened it up, it's going to open up probably to a new tab, which will look something like this. You have your back and forward, of course, your page reload, and also a bookmark this page button. And as you can see up here in the tabbing, they have some things that are actually extremely unique to Google Chrome for tabbing. You can select the different tabs, of course, but you can also drag them left and right and reorganize them. That's not unique to Chrome, but what is unique to Chrome is each tab is actually an independently run browser. Now, before that becomes too geeky for you, that basically means that if this page locks up on me, it's not going to crash this tab. It's only going to crash this one page. Of course, you can drag the tabs off of it as well, and this is also unique to Google. You can also drag the tab back up into it. By the way, Google Chrome is the number one rated web browser for rendering speeds by third-party benchmarks. Now, that's always changing because it's a battle between Mozilla and Google and basically everything but Internet Explorer, which is ridiculously slow, but it is incredibly fast. So that's a reason alone just to try it. You also have this history session here, which will actually show all of these tabs. When you open up a new tab, it'll show you all these little thumbnails, I should say, of websites you have visited most often, and you can drag them around and rearrange them however you'd like, and you can also pin them so that they always show up when you create a new tab. So that's also a nice feature. Underneath the address bar, you have all of your bookmarks that you've bookmarked basically over your history. You have your other bookmarks here on the right hand side. Now some people were confused by this because it only shows up on the new tab as you can see. But you can also make that permanently show up on your browser just by clicking the wrench and saying always show bookmarks. So now they're on each window. See what I mean? Personally I keep them on my tab just because it's a personal preference but you know it's up to you. You also have under the wrench new tab, new window which that'll open up a new tab, that'll open up a whole new window, new incognito window which is good for those of you who go to the internet at places that you shouldn't go to. There is actually, this will block all the cookies and browser history traces and temporary internet files. It'll delete all those before your browser session is up. And that's what the incognito window is for. Uh, under the wrench, we also have your history, which will show all your browsing history, your bookmarks manager, your downloads, which will show all your downloads, and your extensions will show your currently installed extensions. For those of you who are interested in downloading extensions, as you can see, I have a Twitter one, a Internet Explorer tab one, I have a couple other ones. I also have some videos on some available Google Chrome extensions at my channel as well. Under the options section, you may want to go under the hood and change your downloads to a location permanently on your computer or you can have them ask you before each file you download that's what i prefer because i download things in different locations and on your base so these are pretty much self-explanatory you have open the home page you'll use a new tab on the home page and things like that that's pretty much all there is to it there's a lot more other stuff to google chrome but i don't want to go too long on this video but give this one a try i think you guys will really like it uh, again the beta won't give you too many headaches and i hope you enjoyed this video as always thanks for stopping by don't forget to leave comments and ratings and don't forget to subscribe thanks again